A Connecticut teenager is blasting the state's highest court this morning after it ruled she must undergo chemotherapy for cancer. The 17-year-old known to the public as Cassandra wrote in the Hartford Current, this experience has been a continuous nightmare. I want the right to make my medical decisions. It's disgusting that I'm fighting for a right that I and anyone in my situation should already have. Cassandra also wrote, how long is a person actually supposed to live and why? I care about the quality of my life, not just the quantity. Cassandra says chemotherapy is poison, but the court ruled that as a legal minor, she could not refuse it. Her mother, Jackie Fortin, tells Don Dare Daler that her daughter ought to have the final say. I'm going to keep on fighting for her because this is her decision, and I know that she's old enough, mature enough. If she wasn't, I'd be making that decision. What decision would you make? And if my decision would probably be the same, I don't believe in chemicals, I don't believe in toxins. I would find a treatment for her to make sure she lives. Doctors say Cassandra is likely to die of Hodgkin's lymphoma without chemotherapy. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman is with us. Good morning. Good morning. So what are the key factors in this ruling? Well, what happened in this uh, court in Connecticut is they looked at what happened in the trial court and they said, wait. We don't even have to deal with the issue of the mature minor doctrine. Let me explain that in a second and see if it applies here because clearly this child did not show us in the trial court that she was mature at all. So what is the mature minor doctrine? At the age of 18, a child is emancipated and can make his or her own decisions about their own bodies and their own medical care. This child is 17. So the only way that she might have been permitted to make her own decision is if she could show the trial court that she has the judgment, the experience, the maturity, the discretion to be able to act and speak about her own body as an adult. She didn't show that. Mm -hmm. The court said, look, we are not going to let her kill herself, yeah. which would happen if she refused the chemotherapy. This I don't want to bash anybody's parenting cells, but help me understand the role of the mother here. I just think as a parent, if you have medical evidence that shows this cancer is highly treatable, why would you not? Why would you allow your daughter to make this decision? What are you hearing about the role the mother is playing? Well, the mother clearly loves her child very, very much. The state has decided that she was uh, really neglectful by not going forward to help her child get this medical care. This is a child who has really been living with this mother, in essence, as a single parent since this divorce. The mother has homeschooled this child. Mm -hmm. The mother or the daughter may be the person who is at the forefront of this decision that chemotherapy is poison. Nonetheless, we know that children look for clues, look for cues from their parents, that they want to please their parents. Mom says, it's my child Cassandra's decision. You have to believe that the mother, of course, had influence. Why do we know that? Factually, we know that. The mother did not want to get the diagnosis. Once she got the diagnosis, she didn't believe the diagnosis. Mm. Then she didn't take the child mm. to appointments and Finally, at some point during a biopsy, she would stop the biopsy. Okay, quickly. We know, and Dr. David Agus, who is an oncologist and contributor, says that this type of cancer is treatable with right. chemo. There's no alternative to that. It's the one that, that can save your life. If this were a different type of disease where the treatment options were different, do you think the court decision would have been different? It may well have, because yeah. here you have an 85% yeah. chance of success. We as a state do not want to have our children commit suicide. Would we stop her if she had a gun in her, uh, next to her head? Would we take that gun away? Yes, we would. Yeah, it's a very interesting case. Thank you, Ricky.